Union Show and Truck is running in second place behind Chris Estwanek. Chris, of course, married to Ashley Cooper, who is our leading female runner. Chris, uh, certainly the top male runner in Bermuda for at least the last five years, and uh, hoping to complete uh, a remarkable treble the mile, the 10k, and the, the half marathon. Uh, more support vehicles coming through. Uh, this will be the uh, communications van, the TV van coming through, and uh, an official bicycle behind that. But uh, Chris Despoinic should be, here he is, I can see him now. Also a push bike accompanying him, so let's get ready to put our hands together. He's run very well. We've got a unofficial time of uh, 68.20 on the clock. So he's going to be well under 70 minutes for the half marathon. This is Chris Despoinic. Chris Despoinic finishing, making a fantastic treble, the mile, the 10K, and the, uh, the half marathon. Unofficially, 68.35 on the clock. So we have our first half marathon runner in. We also have the uh, the half triangle winner in. Uh, and possibly a new record. We'll check on that for you to see whether Chris has broken. Okay, here we have Sean Trotz, Bermudian Sean Trot, coming in to finish the half marathon. On the northern side of Front Street you see the three leading marathon runners. They've got another loop to go. They're working together. Always a good policy in the longer races. Company makes the misery a little less and uh, they can take turns to set the pace, rotate around. They're all obviously good friends and uh, co-competitors. So short drop in the second place half marathon runner. Here we have the uh, third finisher, it looks like uh, P.C. Allen, the uh, policeman coming over the finish line. 73.04, so we have a one, two, three for Bermudians or residents or both. So uh, we've swept the board as far as local no, no. runner coming in. Steve Slattery it looks like, who's coming in. Uh, did very well in the 10K yesterday and uh, approaching the line in... Good run for Steve Slattery there. Uh, I'm joined by Chris Estwanek who's here and uh, Chris will give us a better idea of conditions out there. First of all, uh, con congratulations Chris, uh, triple challenge winner again. Did you break your own record? I think I did. I had a, a good run in the mile on Friday night, steady run yesterday, and today was uh, probably the best of the three. So conditions uh, were definitely not ideal, but at the same token, if you just kind of kept your head down, cut through the wind, didn't really think about it, you know, I think it's no secret, you really have to work the back half of both the 10K and the half marathon courses out here. Uh, the first parts are slightly downhill, and uh, it's easy to get into a good rhythm, but uh, you really, really have to push that last bit. So. And that's all I tried to do, and I'm trying to lock in on a, a marathon pace that we're not coming marathon in March. So that's all I kept telling myself: just keep trying to click over the 515s, 520s, and uh, try to make it as robotic as possible. So, but great conditions, great fan support out there, and another great weekend for Bermuda. So thanks to everybody. And a great performance by you, Chris, and all, as always, uh, very unassuming and uh, having a great time. When, when did you make the separation? When, when did you get away? Did you have to run most of the race by yourself? You know, I, I, when I realized that the, uh, some of the other athletes were doing the marathon loop, um, I just said, listen, let's just get the, the honest pace going because nobody wants to go out you know, too slow. So I just said, take the first mile, see what happens. If I can keep ticking over, then, then just go with it. And that's really what I had to do. So. Uh, it all worked out well, and uh, I'm looking forward to picking up the training again this week. And speaking of legendary runners, we've got one coming right here, so let's bring them home. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Chris, and congratulations again. Speaking of legends, it's a word that's often misused. Certainly not in this case. This is Douglas Wakahuri from Kenya. He's an Olympic civil medalist. He's a Commonwealth gold medalist. He's a world champion. He's won New York Marathon. He's won the London Marathon. Over 40 years of age now and working tirelessly uh, for needy children in Kenya. He is here for a cause. He is raising money for the children of Kibera. 
Kibera, of course, is one of the notorious slums of Nairobi, and Douglas uh, takes back sneakers, he takes back t-shirts, and he gets these kids doing something productive, something positive, and uh, anybody who can help his worthy cause should certainly think about doing that. Douglas Wakahori, as I said, a legendary figure in uh, road racing, lived for several years in Japan, training and racing, and as I said, he won the two of the most famous marathons in the world, the London and the New York marathons, narrowly missed out an Olympic gold medal, but he did win the Commonwealth gold, and he did win a world championship. He's on the finishing stretch. Let's make sure we give the first female finisher in the half marathon a big warm Bermuda welcome. Let's welcome her home. This is Yolanda Bell from the country of Panama. Yolanda Bell in the long socks, the blue outfit. She's striding strongly. She's showing good style, good form, holding her form as she crosses the finish line in 1.20.48 unofficially. 80 minutes and change for Yolanda Bell of Panama. Well done, Yolanda. And it looks like the, uh, the lead marathon car for the ladies is coming up the street, so our female marathoners are not far behind, and that shows a very impressive time. Uh, it's not really fair to double the time here and equate that as their marathon time, because the second lap will be a lot harder, but uh, it's a good indication of what sort of time they're going to finish in for the two laps. So, Elena Wallova was the uh, leading female marathoner. We think she's still holding a position. Here's a good finish in the half marathon. Two runners approaching the line here, running strongly. I think the young man is gonna hold on. Yes, he is. And this is Randy Fontaine from Ottawa, Canada, and Madria Hyman, our second place lady in the half marathon. Here comes the leading marathon runner for the female. She has distanced herself from the field. This is Aloba, the lady in blue, coming through. Let's welcome her, let's encourage her for the second lap. 122.22 unofficially for the half. Now if she can hold that for the second half, that will be a marathon and a half. A great deal to ask of her, but certainly a very promising time at this stage. And she